What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to show you guys on how to make this glitched red outfit that you do see in the thumbnail. So for the first part, I'm going to show you on how to get the red joggers. So this will be, I'm going to show you guys the part that your friend needs to do because your friend needs to do this. So all you want your friend to do is just call in his MOC. So if he doesn't for some reason know how to do it, just tell him to pull up his interaction menu, go to services, go to mobile operation center and request his MOC. After he does request his MOC, you're just going to want to have him wait for it to spawn on the map. But whenever your MOC does spawn in on the map, then have your friend go to the back of his MOC. Okay guys, so for the first part of this glitch, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get red joggers. So for the first part, you guys will need your friend to get an MOC. So after he does get an MOC, tell him to go to the job mission over here near the front of the trailer part in the MOC. So whenever you guys are here, just go ahead and access the op mobile operation centers, go ahead and hit login, and you guys will want your friend to start this mission right here that's called work dispute. So whenever your friend does have this job, you guys will want to have your friend start it, and you guys will want to be the second player. So that's what I'm telling you guys, you guys need to, you guys need to have your friend start the job, so make sure, make sure he's the host, you're the second player. So yeah, just go ahead and have your friend start up this work dispute, and I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you guys go ahead and join your friend on the work dispute job, then you guys can just have your friend just go ahead and start the job. So whenever you guys go ahead and load in, you guys will see that you guys spawn in a plane, and you guys are wearing the red joggers. Now you guys can just go ahead and head to your apartment. So whenever you guys are at your apartment, you guys will need an explosive. So whenever you guys have an explosive, just go ahead and walk into the blue circle. After you guys walk into the blue circle, then just go ahead and blow yourself up. After you guys blow yourself up, then you guys are able to just run back into your apartment and then you guys should be able to enter your apartment just like this. Whenever you guys go ahead and get inside your apartment or house, you guys are just going to want to go over here and head to your closet area or your clothing area. So whenever you guys go ahead and see in the top left hand corner where it says change clothes, just go ahead and hit right on the d-pad and you guys are just going to want to go ahead and change any accessories on the outfit. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the gloves real quick. After you guys change an accessory on the outfit, then you guys can just walk out of your closet and then after you guys do that, just go ahead and pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. Whenever you guys go ahead and load back into a session after you guys left the job, you guys should see that you guys are wearing the outfit with the red joggers. Now that you guys are wearing the outfit, now we're just going to go ahead and create the outfit on the thumbnail. So I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to the clothing store. Now that you have made it to the clothing store and you are wearing the red joggers outfit, just go over here to the top section, scroll down until you do find designer t-shirts, which will be on slot 29. And you're gonna look for the VDG skeleton t-shirt, which will be on slot 13. You're gonna wanna go ahead and buy this t-shirt first. After you do buy this t-shirt, you can then just back out of designer t-shirts, scroll up to t-shirts, which will be on slot 23, and look for the red t-shirt, which will be on slot 17. And now go ahead and buy and equip this t-shirt. After you've equipped the red t-shirt, you can now just back out of the tops. We don't need to worry about the pants since we already do have the red joggers. Just go over here to your accessories, click on scarfs, which will be on slot 13, and equip the black desert scarf on slot two. When you do equip the black desert scarf, back out of scarfs, go to gloves on slot seven, and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. You can then just back out of gloves after you have equipped the black woolen gloves, go to watches on slot 6, and equip the p Fister Design Red Sports on slot 65. Whenever you have equipped this watch, you can then back out, go to cuffs on slot 8, and you're going to look for, this is going to be for your right arm, and if you scroll down to 35, it's going to be the skull wrist chain for your right arm, which will be on slot 35. So that will be all for the accessories, the scarf, the gloves, the watch, and the cuffs. After you have all those four, you can then just back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, go to sneakers on slot two, and equip the cherry plain high tops on slot five. Now that you have done this, back out of your shoes. Now we don't need to worry about the head accessories right now, but we're gonna do the logo merge and transfer it over to our t-shirt, so I'm gonna take off the parachute. But all you wanna do is just head to your apartment. After you have made it to your apartment, go into the changing clothes area, Click on tops, and then you're gonna to go to designer t-shirts. Maybe for you it's on a different slot, but for me it's gonna be on slot 33. I'm gonna click on designer t-shirts. Now look for the VDG skeleton t-shirt, and all you wanna do is hover over it. Don't click on it, just hover over the t-shirt. After you've hovered over it for a few seconds, all you wanna do now is just hit pause, and you can either go to your friends and join one of your friends if they are online. If you don't have a friend online, go to online. Go to cruise, you can join one of your crews, or you can join one of your friend's crew's invitations, or which I do, I do the leaderboard. 
and then I find somebody in the IGN crew because somebody's always online. And when, once you do find somebody, all you wanna do is just click on their profile, click on join game, and whenever you do fully join their game, you should see that the logo transfers over to the red t-shirt. And you can see I loaded back into the session and you can see that the skeleton logo transferred over to the red t-shirt, just like this. Now we're gonna go back to the clothing store to finish the components on this outfit. Whenever you are back at the clothing store, if your character has any head accessories, go ahead and take those off. So there we go, I'm gonna go and take that off. Now go back over here to the top section, scroll down to vest on slot 53, and look for the peach plate carrier. For me, it's gonna be on slot 44. So equip the peach plate carrier, and then you should see that it does go together with your scarf and your t-shirt, and the logo doesn't disappear. You can now back out of the tops. Your character should not have any head accessories. This is what your outfit should look like so far. When your outfit looks like this, walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and you can save the outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save the outfit, back out of edit saved outfits, scroll down through the clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13, and scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. Whenever you've equipped one of these outfits, back out of the front counter, and now we're going to head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch. Once you have found a telescope on the pier, all you want to do is the telescope glitch. You're going to run past telescope like this, hit right on the d-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place. Then look towards the telescope that's tiny you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your outfits, and equip the red outfit we just saved earlier at the clothing store, which should look like this. After your outfit looks like this, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask merges over with the outfit, just like that. All you want to do now is just head to any gun store. So now that we have made it to a gun store, just go over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save the outfit, you can then just back out of the tops and we're just gonna start up a job. So go ahead and hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on Rockstar Created, click on missions, look for the job that's called a Titan of a job and fully start up that mission. You can see when you load into the job, you shouldn't be wearing the peach plate carrier anymore. Whenever your outfit looks like this, just go back over here to your tops once again, hit edit saved outfits, and you can save the outfit on any slot that you want again. Now, now that you have saved your outfit, back out of the tops, pull up your phone, and just quit the job from your phone. After you load back into a public session, just run back inside the gun store, go over here to the top section once again, Scroll down to vest on slot 47 and equip any vest that looks like this. Just don't equip a sweater vest that looks like this. Just equip any vest that will look like this. After you do equip a normal vest, back out of vest, go to vest shirts on slot 48. And then this is the one that matters. Equip the red band vest shirt on slot 12. Whenever you have equipped the red band vest shirt, back out of your tops. And now we're going to do the merge. So if you guys want to do it's a G thing, I will leave a link in the description so then you guys can bookmark that job and do it from there. But for me, I'm going to do the apartment merge. So I will get back to you when I am at my apartment. If you are doing the apartment merge, go into the heist planning board room and walk up here to the heist planning board. And out of all the five heist start up, the first one that's called the flake of job. After you start up the flake of job, the first job it's going to be due, it's going to be called scope out. Once you do complete the scope out mission, the second job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called Kuruma. And that's the job we're going to be using for the merge glitch. So whenever you have the Kuruma job available, just launch that mission. When you're in the Kuruma job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits. When you have set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, confirm the settings and then invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random. And after someone does join, just launch the job. Once you have gotten somebody to join on your owned outfit, scroll to the slot to wherever you did save the outfit and your outfit should look like this. After your outfit looks like this, hit ready to play. Once you have fully loaded into the job, all you need to do now is just pull up your phone, click on job list and quit the job from your phone. So whenever you do load back into a public session, you're going to want to find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's a personal vehicle or a random surveilling car on the street, but once you do find a car, get inside that car. Now pull up your interaction menu and you want to register as a secure surf or motorcycle club. After you have done that, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure surf CEO or motorcycle club, then go to management. Now go to style and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left and then one time to the right back to none. Now hop out of the car and you will see that the red band vest shirt merges over with the shirt with the red shirt that you did merge with the skeleton logo and you should see that it is kind of ripped even though the colors are almost similar but you guys can see it that they're slightly a different color and you guys can see that it's ripped but after your outfit looks like this you're now going to want to just head to the mask store so then we can finish this outfit 
Okay guys, after you have made it to the mask store, before we do go into the mask, you're just gonna wanna equip a parachute. So to do this, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set your parachute to on and have it set to the black combat shoe bag. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, go to a gun store, then you're gonna wanna go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then buy the black combat shoe bag. Whenever you have bought the black combat shoe bag, you can then back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute and set it to on, and it'll be set to the black combat shoe bag. Now for the mask and helmet, we're gonna go over here to the hats first, which will be on the left side of the mask. Now scroll down to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and buy the black bulletproof. After you do buy the black bulletproof helmet, back out of the hats, go over here to the mask, scroll down to crime, which will be on slot nine, and you're gonna look for the red bigness t-shirt mask, which will be on slot 15. Now go ahead and equip the red bigness t-shirt. After you have done that, back out of the mask, and we're gonna head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch and merge the helmet and mask together. Whenever you do find a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch and run past telescope like this, hit right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then lurks towards the telescope, that's how, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you do find the black bulletproof. You will see that your mask does come off, but you guys don't have to worry. After you find the black bulletproof helmet, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you can see that the mask and helmet merge together just like this. And if you are wondering what the outfit looks like in the pause menu, here you guys go. That's pretty much it. But if you guys also want to add the grayscale urban ski, I didn't show you guys on how to buy them, but you guys can just go at the clothing store, go to the glasses, and buy the grayscale urban ski on the sports glasses. And to do this glitch, just do the telescope glitch again. So run past telescope, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, scroll through your glasses until you find the grayscale urban ski. You will see that your mask does come off, but you guys don't have to worry. Just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the glasses do merge together with your outfit like this. And I'd say this it looks pretty good on the outfit if you guys do like it. Here you guys go on what it looks like in the pause menu. I think it looks pretty good. So that's pretty much it for the outfit. You can now go to the clothing store, save the outfit on whichever slot you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this glitched outfit for your male character. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.